Hey, Olivia, are you going to come? A little bit forward, but I like where your head's at. Tom's birthday thing tomorrow. Are you going to come? Be nice to hang out. Party tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm coming. What, right now? TMI. You having a party tomorrow night, yes or no? Yes, but it's strictly lads only. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it'll be frightfully transphobic of me to extend you an invitation. Plus, you tend to make everything about yourself, so... Are we still going on about your nephew's birthday? Tom, it was fucking boring, mate. Not his fault, obviously. He's a baby. And that stripper didn't even charge us in the end. He just went home with a bit of quiche. Get over yourself. Where's the party? We're going for Mexican. Uh, no, we're not. I can't do spicy. You know that. Again, lads only. Plus, spicy food is the only manly thing I can do, and you're not taking that away from me. Once a year, I go dish for dish with some of the lads from the day shift. Guess what they call me? Mike Spison. <laughs> no, they don't. Look, number one, if you don't think I can hold my own at a sausage fest, then you have grossly misunderstood my anatomy. Number two, I think I've got a good thing going with Alan over there. Alex. Whatever, right? Think about it. Staff party, your birthday, out of uniform, dancing, yeah? Alcohol, inhibitions, lowered, yeah? Travel lodge, 64 quid a night, bargain. Breakfast included, no, but that's not the point. Oh, so there is a point. The point is we're gonna fuck like Chuckle Brothers. To me, to you. But here's the thing, as a transgender woman... Oh, that's a new record. <laughs> as a transgender woman, my lovemaking options are fairly limited, all right? Without a God-given vagina, there's only one way in and one way out. Not accounting for fellatio, I assume. You assume correct. So I'm obliged to keep the back door squeaky. Then I. Imagine how your bum hole feels after a bit of chilli. Now imagine popping your willy up there. Not very nice, is it? Look, can we not go at least one shift without you referencing your own anus? I feel like I can see it when I close my eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. Do I disgust you? Does my transgender situation put you off your spicy man food? Hey, I'm the one that organised the company crowdfunder for your boob job. I spent an entire afternoon hanging up pairs of pink balloons around the staff room. Yes, and if you'd drawn nipples on them, like I asked, I wouldn't have had to spend the entire afternoon explaining to Gustav that they were supposed to be tits and not testicles. You're so ungrateful. Ungrateful would be keeping them to myself. But they're out and about, aren't they? They belong to the people now. Your boobs are not Lady Diana. Why don't you just go on a girls' night out? With who? Beefy Linda? The woman who asks me 12 times a week if I'm going on RuPaul's Drag Race? Face it, mate, I'm a lone wolf, yeah? If there was another transgender person here, perhaps we could go on a transgender night out, but as you can see, I am the only one. That is my curse. Well, you, you say that. The fuck are you on about? Well, uh, you know, a supervisor, I may or may not be privy to certain information. Not that I'd ever disclose it. Bollocks. Again, not something I can discuss. <laughs> Who is it? Not talking about Nina off Bakery. She's not transgender, mate. She's just got big hands. Bloody hell, it's not you, is it? Tom, there can be only one of us. All right, calm down. We're not Highlander. Tom, transgender people, we're solitary creatures, yeah? We're like squids, all beautiful and misunderstood, floating through the abyss. Two squids collide in the dark, they've got to make a snap decision. Do I consume the other one or are we going to mate? You put two transgender people on the same night shift, we're either going to fight or we're going to fuck. Either way, somebody's getting battered. Please tell me who it is. Well, I shouldn't really be doing this, but, um... Oh, that is bloody typical. I should go say something. Oh, you, yeah, you definitely should, yeah. Oi! <coughs> You've probably heard this was a trans-friendly place to work. Obviously, you clocked the goods. But if you're thinking about tapping this lot for a pair of these for yourself, forget it. You see these, mate? Silicone mesh. Same thing they use on the International Space Station. So yeah, I do technically qualify as a cyborg. But I get it, right? You see me, you see the woman you want to be one day. Never going to happen. But since we're going to be working together, friendly bit of advice. Before having sex with a man, yeah, eat the spiciest thing you can find. That way, when he pulls into the drive, it will create a tingling sensation. He will love it. OK, uh, I, I, I like women. <laughs> a lot. Uh, I just don't want to be one. <laughs> I'm not like you. <laughs> I'm not... Uh, I'm... Uh, I'm just... I'm just... No! Not you, you big dickhead. I was talking about somebody else. 
Party though, eh? Hey, you and me, tomorrow night. <laughs> to me, to you. <sighs> See you later. You know that thing I said just now about spicy bum stuff? Tom told me that. So, enjoy your Mexican night out, yeah? See you later. Thank <laughs> you.